I guess I've always been interested in volunteering and helping people. And so all through high school, I was working at soup kitchens um, and feeding homeless and, and working with different ministries. And then once I got to college, I men, uh, majored in social work, just really wanting to help people and so forth. I left and went on to work for the mayor's office of New York City, where I was doing emergency management, um, which was really a lot of fun. I had a great time. And from there, I had traveled on to go work with Doctors Without Borders in Africa. And I think that's what really cemented the idea in my head that I wanted to go into medicine. What led me to osteopathic medicine would be the experience that I had in Africa, working with uh, populations in really rural areas in a bush and not having access to x-rays and CAT scans and state-of-the-art technology. And so really wanting to develop a skill set where I could diagnose and treat patients with my hands. The faculty and staff are really helpful. Um, they're actually super friendly. I guess I came from New York City where people aren't as outgoing and friendly with you. And so coming to PCOM and having that experience was, was really great because it's stressful and it is tough and it's, um, it's not easy casework. So why did I choose PCOM? Um, mostly because it's the best. So it just has a great history, great legacy. Uh, one of the founding colleges of osteopathic medicine um, and it's kind of unequivocal that I want to go to BCOM. So if I could give any advice to uh, incoming class or people who are interested in medicine, but I think taking just a small break away from, from school and from college can be great. But I think stepping out outside of research and academia can give you a better, I think, grasp on the world and understanding. 